Following the successful third launch of South Korea's homegrown Nuri rocket, another leading giant science project in the country is the construction of an ion beam that can travel at one-fifth the speed of light. Called the Laon Project, researchers on track to further their research in basic science. Lee Eun Jin has the details. There are some 124 steel tunnels that run across roughly 100 meters. This is the scene of the South Korean-made heavy ion accelerator, Raon. With a government budget of 1.5 trillion won, that's roughly 1.14 billion U.S. dollars, this 12-year ion accelerator project was built to produce a variety of stable and rare isotope beams. Testing for this homegrown heavy ion accelerator involves an argon beam passing through the acceleration zones of the tunnels. In May of this year, the project's team of researchers from the Institute of Basic Science successfully completed the test where the argon beam passed through all of the acceleration tunnels. Each tunnel adds energy to the argon beam, and by the 124th tunnel, the beam was shown to reach a speed that's 19 percent of the speed of light. We first need very cold, cryogenic systems to be followed by various high-frequency systems. This means that the overall integrated control system is fully operational. The research team said that of the 124 tunnels, they found around 10 to be malfunctioning and that they hope to improve the overall performance of the tunnels in the future. This also involves securing the stability and extending the operating time of the tunnels before activating them in actual further research. Following the successful beam test through a low-energy acceleration system, the research team hopes to complete the development for high-energy acceleration testing in the coming years. The next phase is expected to increase the speed of the beam to close to half the speed of light. The primary goal of this project is to create rare elements to unveil the secrets of stars from formation to evolution. But in addition, cooperation between researchers is expected to help develop existing materials like the rare isotopes that treat cancer or create new materials that could be used to treat spent nuclear fuel. Ian Jin, Arirang News.